Hey guys, in this video we'll be giving a try a Freya build from an itemization YouTuber. Apparently he posted it a month ago, but unfortunately I have little free time last month. Family gathering, and of course when I finally get the gameplay, my phone just catches on fire days ago. Still containing unedited video of Freya and upcoming Sylvana. Five seconds to the enemy. Sadly, the, the only thing I can salvage was these screenshots which is stored online ahead. With these planned to be the thumbnails for two vids. Never forget your love for the land. Anyway, the YouTuber goes by this guy. Stronger My game theory. The Video link is on the description, and I must down. say, the build was well balanced. But it covers some effects and well giving Freya more mobility. The tenacity talent gives her a chance to pull out ULT before she gets bursted down to activate it. Tenacity also pairs well with Rose Gold's passive, giving Freya some breathing room when she has 50% HP or less. At full field, Freya was fast enough to catch up to Nana even. After getting pushed by Flameshot, after using her ULT for Dragon Spear passive, which boosts her movement even further for most duration of her ultimate, covering her greatest weakness, which is the mobility. However, it does have flaws. The build has no crit, which is crucial to deal high damage. Basic attack, so you might want to take Javelin at early. But by then, you will have to get Vampire Malik later on, relying on Quantum Charge talent for heal. But Quantum Charge helps her better reach when performing a basic attack, as they give movement for about 15 seconds. Think of like Hunter Strike passive as talent, but much easier to trigger. And if you're watching from Valhalla, talent, I won't let you them may down! Not Hunter Strike, which gives you other item options. Another problem is that you're like Never forget your love the your Superior and just Quantum Charge in any this battle. His last An enemy has been slain. Enemy has been slain. Enemy has been slain. His HP goes down. With the usual inspire though, I have no problem cutting. Play this build down to the And in case you haven't noticed, I used a new phone. A scar is the testament of his slaying the turtle. So you will see me being sluggish and having slow energy. You have slain Another thing an to enemy. note is that aside from quantum and great dragon steel, first talent is the agility, which provides 4% movement, then there's bot and endless, which is 5% movement each. Then caps it off with Rose Cold, giving yet another movement speed break. It's triggered. For concerns of lacking physical pen items, this build relies making use of endless battles true damage, which also can be used to harm anyone using wind nature skill as they cannot block true damage. Last but not least, the flipper allows much better escape or chase abilities than inspire, which is suited for direct combat. The former is ideal for turret diving as shown earlier, saving one its skill for escape, but the other is as well, stunning fast. Anyhow, this is all I have to say. Like yeah. more detailed explanation. Please check out yeah. Sandal's video. Link will be down in the
never forget your love for the land. Shut down! Good game! Request backup! the testament of a warrior's honor. Don't attack the Lord. Northern Vale may be killed, but never conquered. 